Well, I really can't think of a game that the Jaguars needed more than this one. With this game in Week 3, Thursday night home game, the Jaguars were facing a potential 0-3 start. And even worse than that, if the Jaguars lost this game, they were going to go 0-2 in the division. But the Jaguars pulled it out, and they won pretty convincingly. They beat the Tennessee Titans by a score of 20-7, to and... The Jaguars now improved to 1-2 and two on the season, and we finally beat the damn Titans. It's been so long. We got swept by them in 2017 and 2018. Haven't beat them since the 2016 season, and it's really my least favorite team in the NFL, and we've really just developed a rivalry over them, and the Jaguars absolutely dominated. I mean, on all parts of the ball. First of all, Gardner freaking Minshew, and... One thing that you guys have probably known about me since watching my videos is that I keep it pretty real with you guys. And, you know, I'm never someone that's going to overhype this team before the season. And like when they, you know, when they start 0-2, I'm not going to be somebody that all of a sudden, you know, jumps off the side, you know, jumps off the cliff with this team and talks about how much they suck. I keep a pretty level head with all of this. And, um, you know, that was one thing I was doing really with Gardner Minshew. You know, first game. He obviously goes 22 for 25, you know, 88% completion percentage, has a really good game. But, you know, we'll see how he does next game. Next game, he does pretty well. They don't win the game. They don't put up a lot of points. But really, the coaching staff didn't really give them the opportunity to really do that. And one thing I was saying before this game is I was saying, hey, you know, we've learned through the first two games that Gardner Minshew is not going to um, really put the game in, uh, in risk for it and he balled out this game man uh, he was 20 for 30 you know that's a 67 percent completion percentage i don't have the numbers in front of me but he threw like two pretty good touchdown passes and he was phenomenal and he's really starting to look like a damn good quarterback i mean he's put three really good games up in a row and i'm sitting here wondering what does this guy do bad i mean he's got tremendous pocket presence he's hanging in there um, he's reading the field extremely well. He's hitting every single throw, whether it be a back shoulder throw, whether it be a beautiful lob, like that one throw he had to D.D. Westbrook was just absolutely beautiful with the kind of touch that he had on the ball. You know, of course it was dropped by D.D. Westbrook, but it was just a beautiful ball. The guy has, the guy looks completely comfortable in the offense, completely poised, and it's exciting, man. A six-round quarterback, this is what we're getting out of him. Like, you've seen, I mean, usually with, you know, these these quarterbacks that you get in the later rounds, you know, they turn into like a Zach, Met Zach Mettenberger. They turn into like a TJ Yates. But we get this, it's incredible. And I'm I'm so excited to see what he has, you know, going forward. And I'm loving the Minshew show. I'm, 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 a, I'm a member of the Minshew crew. I know I was not very high on him after the preseason, but who would have been? You know what I'm saying? And... Um, he's been completely balling out. And another guy that I've really liked is DJ Chark. DJ Chark is having a tremendous second year. Um, you know, he had a touchdown reception this game, a really nice back shoulder throw. I don't have the numbers in front of me, but I know he was like, he had about 77 yards on the game. And I will say this, I didn't, uh, I wasn't actually watching this whole game. I was, I kind of had it on while I was doing other stuff. Um, you know, I was... I'm, I'm going to rewatch this game this week and I really give a much more thorough review because there's a lot to look at, but, um, it was awesome. The defense was back. Saxonville, nine freaking sacks. They were all over Mario to this game. It, it was, it was awesome. And they were getting all kinds of quarterback disruptions. I think before this game that they didn't have a single, uh, a single sack and they go out here and just completely destroy Mariota. Um, it was awesome. And unfortunately, um, I'll probably be coming at you guys with another video tomorrow because it, it looks like Jalen Ramsey is on his way out. And I'll get more into that tomorrow, but it's starting to suck. But I'm going to keep this on a you know much happier note. The Jaguars dominate Thursday night football. They needed this win. They were so close to winning last week. And, you know, they the Jaguars added this weekend, they at one and two, they could be tied for first place in the AFC South if, if, um, I think the Texans are playing the Chargers. Um, the Colts are playing the Falcons. So, I mean, like I said, man, with the AFC South, I said this before the year, you know, um, I don't think that AFC South is very, has, is very like high end good when it comes to, you know, ceiling teams, but 
you know, I think it has the highest floor, and I think nine and seven could very well win this division. And you know, after after Foles went down week one, you know, we really thought the season was over. And but just with the way Minshew is playing, it's incredible. And um, it's just extremely exciting. The Jaguars needed this win so bad. The fans needed this win, man. The fans were just so down in the dumps after what happened Sunday after going 0 2. Then Jalen Ramsey discussed that he wants to be traded. Much, much needed win. And um, yeah, I mean, no matter what happens after this weekend, the Jaguars are only one game back of the AFC South. So we're very well into this thing, man. We're moving on to the Denver Broncos. It's going to be an exciting game, a very winnable game. And the Jaguars can easily go back to 500. And we're right back in this damn thing. But positivity game, man. Um, you know, we saw Dewan Smoot get his first sack. Taman Bryan got in there and got a, at least half a sack. I, I don't know if he was attributed to full sack, but it was awesome. Can't wait to rewatch this game. Um, thank you guys for staying patient with me through this week. And um, go Jaguars, man. This is UCF Jaguar with JinJag.com. Duval till I die. I'm out.